Hey guys, today we're talking about how to use ABS slurry as a build plate adhesive. So basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's ABS chunks uh, mixed in with acetone, which melts it down and you create this liquid form of ABS, right? So you've seen vapor smoothing and things like that. Um, it's very much, it, basically you're, you're putting the liquid onto the plate, letting it dry, and then it's adhering to itself when you print. Uh, I believe this can work for PLA, PTG, some of the other low temp filaments, um, and of course ABS. Um, it's not our favorite method because it does get kind of messy and you have to deal with acetone and stuff like that, but it's pretty easy. Wow, get in my eyes, man. Woo -wee, you can smell that. All right, so Cole's making some over here. What we like to do if we ever need it, because we use it for some other stuff like bonding parts together, questionable. Um, basically, you can take you basically, you can take your ABS filament, whatever kind you're using, and chop it up into tiny little pieces or stick it into a Vitamix or, you know, a magic bullet, whatever. Do not do this. <laughs> it works you great. You can, but you will, <laughs> as soon as you open it, fumes, this stuff it's is pretty. This it's is pretty intense. bad. But if you get the more surface area that your chunks of filament have, the faster it'll melt down. Um, so you basically, you make the chunks and then you mix it with acetone. It'll take about 10 minutes and you basically just mix it up and it'll turn into a slurry and you end up with something like this. As you can see, it turns into this nice little liquid, liquid stuff. Yeah, there's no real formula. You basically just want to get it, um, you know, liquidy enough to spread it around on your plate. Uh, it's probably a one to one, two to one, uh, play with it. Start with one to one and then you'll see how thick it gets. Here's um, the thing that's difficult about this. Acetone is incredibly volatile, caustic, and it evaporates incredibly quickly. This is an example of one that's been left out a little bit too long without the lid. We had to add more acetone, which quickly dissolved. Um, add as much acetone as you need, let it mix to get the consistency you need, whether it's to fill parts or to spread on the plate. To apply it, we're just gonna pour a little bit onto this ruined plate because it's not easy to clean off. Your plate, this is probably one of the last times you're gonna wanna use your plate um, for anything other than ABS slurry. It can pretty much ruin your plate. You're not really gonna be able to use it for much else and it'll make it in uneven and stuff. Dedicate but... a plate to this. Exactly. Let's put it that way. Exactly. So then I'm just gonna spread it around, fill in some gaps there. You don't need to go too thick, but you want to have a nice coating because you're you going to fill be, those gaps. Yeah, fill the gaps. You know, you need you need the filament to then stick to it later on. I don't know if you can actually do this without using a raft because what the raft does is it, it makes it, it basically, you don't have to have a level bed with a raft. It just uses a lot more material. Here we go. And if, uh, if you want to pour a little acetone on there so I can spread it out sure. a little more, why not? Oh boy, if you guys Go. could smell this, yeah. I don't want to put too much. Oh. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Yep, and it's already hardening up. All the acetone is just, is it's going. It's going. It's just evaporating, and this is kind of hard. So you get the whole plate covered. As you can tell, it's not the easiest thing to make even. As soon as it starts loosening up with the acetone, it dries. It will stick your part for sure. Um, get my pip towel. Yeah. I wanna get this off the pallet knife before I ruin the pallet knife. Uh, and of course, you can always you can peel it off. It's not as easy as you would think, but uh, drop right there. I'm probably gonna burn this off with a torch later outside. Now you've got this and you can pretty much print. You could take this later also and sand it down to make it extra even. I mean, it's ABS, it's very sandable. Uh, you can post process Lots it. Lots of post process. If you need to, you could take a lot of acetone and probably melt it off again. But when I've tried this in the past, it still leaves like a residue that I could never ever get off the plate. One of the things is if you're printing in Peak or Ultim or the really high temperature filaments, this actually won't do the job because um, I mean, this melts at 240, 245, you know, ABS, um, but your plate's gonna be at 160 or more with the PEI and peak and everything else. Um, and it just, this, it doesn't actually stick to this. It doesn't work at all. I mean, I'm sure there's some print shops out there using this, um, but it's definitely not a preferred method unless all you do is ABS, uh, big parts and whatnot. Still, I mean, it's it's a lot easier, I would say, just to 
take a plate and you can just grab our nanopolymer adhesive, which just makes it super easy. You can do multiple prints. I'll just do that a little bit. And then you take the brush, not that brush. No. And then just any brush, you know, and just you can take a paper towel and wipe it around. It's it's um, based in alcohol, so you'll notice a little bit of fume, but that's all you gotta do. And then you that can That was print. a lot easier. <laughs> that was a lot easier. Uh, and it's perfectly smooth. Your part's gonna have a totally mirror bottom finish. Uh, and you won't have to use brims or rafts or anything like that. It sticks so good. Literally, we don't use any brims at all anymore. It's amazing. I feel like in the early days, when you go back and search forum posts for ABS slurry back in 2005, when the replicator was first coming out, this is when you see a lot of people talking about this. I haven't seen much use for this. I get the occasional phone call from people saying they've been using it for specific parts here and there very occasionally. There are uses for it. It's very dangerous. ABS is very dangerous to grind. Have There's um, off gases that are VOCs, used even when organic printing it. Um, acetone is dangerous to have in your house if you have kids around. I, just be extremely careful. Like if you Try get, it, if but... you get the fumes in your eyes, you could go blind. Yeah, it's an interesting. And it's easy to get the fumes in your eyes. It's gas. I mean, but scares. Yeah, doesn't mean you can't try it. Works great for dissolving plastics and everything else like that, and cleaning stuff. So it did fill these option. holes pretty well. If you uh, if you can't get your part to stick and you don't have anything else to use, if you got some acetone and your ABS or you know there's some other filaments that break down under acetone, uh, but usually it's ABS. This will work in a pinch. So. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, if you're interested and want to know more about the nanopolymer adhesive, hit us up. We'll send you a free sample. Not no, no problem. Uh, I'm not even going to say that because I don't know. Don't use this. Don't, yeah. This There's so many better things on the market so that are safer. This is just stick. straight up dangerous at this point. I know we're supposed to be unbiased, but this is, I make this stuff here all the time and use it for different things. Yeah. Really don't use it. You can make really cool art with it, you know, like epoxy. So you can we like might get burned. pour it out and make designs. But yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Don't put it on, that. put it on this one. Put it all on this all right. one. All right, yeah, why not? Ooh, yeah. And then you let this dry. It takes like three days if it's really thick. Uh, it's, and you can mix colors. Uh, and <laughs> you can make really funny, uh, really cool you are, stuff. If you are gonna use this, <laughs> be sure to be extremely careful. This yeah. is um, not a joke. Um, there are newer things on the market. There are tried and true to other uh, true other methods that are just safer. So yeah. that's what I would recommend. Totally awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment below. Maybe you've got a different method for this, or you know, there's certain situations where it works awesome. Yeah, let us know. Uh, let us know. Do you use a raft? You know, do you have to do that? Um, anyway, we love talking to you guys. Uh, so thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you on the next one.